Today we'll be listing the crimes of Chris McLean from the original run of Total Drama. This took me a while, but I feel like I was able to list every single one. Some rules though. I'll be referring to Canadian law any way I can. I'll only be counting personal injuries of contestants if they're severe enough, or if Chris causes them directly. Some of them would not be dealt with legally due to the contracts they all signed. Because Chris has so much control over the show, I'll be charging him with any malicious changes he makes to it. Let's begin. Your first task is to jump off this 1,000 foot high cliff into the lake. This is one of the most dangerous challenges in season 1, with Chris insisting the campers jump off a cliff into shark infested waters. Easy gross negligence charge. Duncan, you in there man? In only the third episode, the show's camera crew films both Owen and Duncan naked. This is very illegal, since both are 16 years old. Sure it's edited for TV, but it's still disturbing that they'd record this in the first place. On your marks, get set, paddle! That's gonna provoke some angry emails. I had a few explosives left over, and I just hate to waste. Incoming! Hit the door! Yes! I can't wait to get my pilot's license! It's delicious dolphin wieners! Hot dogs made of dolphins! <gasps> but dolphins are our friends! <laughs> okay, new intern! I know it's weird that you're starting on our last show, but all of the other interns died already. All you have to do is test out this final challenge and make sure it's moderately safe. This and the deaths of the other interns would result in various wrongful death lawsuits. It's not known how many actually died, but let's just say three for the sake of the video. In Canada, the average payout for a wrongful death lawsuit is $125,000. Also, Chris makes both Gwen and Owen compete in this deadly challenge, so I'll charge him for that too. parents? Oh snap, that is messed up! Oh yeah, and they're stealing bald eagle eggs. You cowboys and cow babes are gonna have to mount the steed from up there. Not there, way up there! Ah! Ah! Ha! Bet you're not laughing at my hair now! <laughs> well, I guess you showed her, and by her, I mean the entire viewing audience. Okay, okay. I've lived a lot of years. Yeah. Oh, oh, gee, that'll hurt come morning. Owen's jawbreaking was directly Chris and Chef's fault, though since Owen's family never sues them, I won't count it. They've both been locked up in state-of-the-art safes, along with all the tools each team will need to commit a movie-perfect bank robbery. Hello? Hello? Not so fast. I'm liking the costume. What's your superpower? I guess I should have seen that coming. Ouch! I guess he should have seen that coming. Dang! You broke my glasses! Is there a ladies room? Just through there. Good, cause I gotta make a deposit. There's a camera in the potty? You will be forced to take the drop of shame. Okay, I just don't like- Kinda like this. <laughs> Probably get killed by the local scarab beetles. It's mating season and they get all killy when they're in heat. Chris unleashes these flesh-eating scarabs on the cast, which could have killed them, 
In fact, they kill this intern, making it first degree murder. I'll also give him a gross negligence charge. Coolio, here's your pinball buddy. The panda? No! Wicked! Incoming! Chris has the entire total drama machine looking for Duncan. Duncan. using the actual statues. Those are priceless. Chef made some fake ones, right? Two airports on an island the size of a postage stamp and he misses both. But somehow, it's my fault. You blew our money for the season on Chris' work. So here, Chris admits he embezzled all the money that should have gone to refueling so that he could have some luxury items on the plane. This results in a crash that nearly kills Owen and Izzy, so I'll count that as gross negligence too. Will Chef fix the plane so we can leave here while I'm still young? I don't know, did we land in the 70s? Uh. Ah! I was gonna let him back in the game if he could avoid getting captured, but since he could not... <laughs> Everyone should probably hang on to something. Everyone except you. The Area 51 challenge technically doesn't count as a break-in, since Chris makes contact with a friend who works there, so I won't count this. You each have to feed a hungry baby koala bear. No problem. And these guys haven't eaten in a week, so they're nice and peckish. me to host the show. You only got the job because I said no and... <laughs> what is that? A giant condor. That explains the size of these eggs. So those belong to that? This entire challenge violates various laws protecting endangered species. As the species of condors are endangered, the contestants are made to carry these eggs, with many being broken or crushed. Attention competitors! I am currently traveling south at 90 kilometers per hour, so you may as well give up. The fact that Chris has so many of these animals locked away, with them being essentially trafficked, is illegal. Not to mention how he even got these two baby koalas. Throw any pineapples in the volcano, did you? There are signs everywhere! Oh yeah, they really ruined the shot, so we put the human wall there. Chris knew you couldn't throw pineapples in this volcano, but instead ignored this and had the cast block these signs. This is yet another clear-cut case of gross negligence. Yep, it's our roughest, toughest, most explosive season ever! I rented the island out to a nice family-oriented biohazardous waste disposal company. Sweet people. But the waste is having a teensy bit of an impact on the flora and fauna. Yep, Chris dumped loads of toxic waste on the island. This would be a pretty massive sentence. But in the show, he's only imprisoned for a year. You're busted, McLean! Huh? For what? Creating an environmental disaster, that's what! I'm afraid you and the other classic players have outlived your usefulness. Chef? <laughs> Say hello to the Hurl of Shame, Patent Pending. Yeah, catapults were invented by my great 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 Yeah, hurling contestants in a catapult is a serious safety risk. I'll charge him with gross negligence once again, though separately for each person he does it to. One to drive, and one to operate your gull cannon. Gull cannon? <laughs> yeah, you heard me. <laughs> what? This stupid thing's jammed! Oh my gosh, are you okay? No 
explosion? Not cool. Shaboom! <laughs> The health department said it was unfit for human life, but I sent in workers anyway. Hmm. Wonder where they went. For a challenge, Chris sends the contestants into the mines, where they are all exposed to toxic waste. This will again count as gross negligence, since they could have all died in there. With Dakota, I could go even further, since her exposure to the waste caused her to mutate and lower her intelligence. She could sue the shit out of Chris. And watch your step. Those sinkholes are everywhere. Whoa! Wait for it. See ya, Josh! And it is time for the lightning to strike! Shabam! Oh, I think you will cheer. Otherwise, I'll be forced to unleash him. <laughs> Kidding! No way is that guy coming back again. You'll do it in an homage to Total Drama's first ever challenge. Cliff diving into water, infested with ravenous sharks. Yeah, but just like in season one, this challenge will get a gross negligence charge for how dangerous it is. Shh, look, it's Larry, and he's got an egg, which means Larry's actually a lorry. Uh oh. Oh. What the actual fuck? Behold, my sad, skinny interns. Oh. I totally forgot to feed them this week. <laughs> <laughs> I know, funny, right? Um, what's going on? Chef, what'd you use to make these moats? The fracking machine. Whoa, you can't say that on TV. Yeah, fracking. Now, obviously nothing to the scale has been committed before, but based on similar cases, I'll charge them with a million dollar fine. Who knows? This season is full of surprises. Like this! <laughs> this season's humiliating way home! The Canon of Shame! <gasps> Any last words? It was really nice to meet all of you! So I'll be charging him for that 13 times, since he launched contestants out of a cannon. Okay, release the babies! <gasps> this can't be legal! For your next challenge, one of you has to shut down the self-destruct, which is located in this Underground control room! Chris orders the remaining contestants to stop the island from going haywire, which presents a serious risk. However, I won't charge him for this one, as the contestants willingly did so.